If you drive along I-75 through Madison Heights, you perhaps have asked yourself, what is going on there? Uh, yeah, there's a massive hole in the ground and some <laughs> huge equipment around it, so we decided to send our Tim Pamplin to get to the bottom of things, literally. <laughs> Well, that is why they had to dig the big hole to get that machine out. It's an 18 foot wide boring machine. It's been making its way from 8 mile up to 12 mile. And this is where it hit that snag last summer, creating a sinkhole and causing all sorts of problems. Let's go back to last summer, July 21, when the wall collapsed and the ground started moving. Well, workers from MDOT have been out here ever since digging, removing that old boring machine and getting the new one ready, dropping down equipment and people we are getting back on track talking of tracks down the bottom an underground railroad to try and stop future flooding this is the first time we've ever done it in the state of michigan so we're going 100 feet below the service drive from 8 mile to 12 mile those locations were chosen because that is essentially where the freeway is below grade yeah you remember 2014 massive flooding here along 75 and the goal by mdot is to never have that happen again the concept is to take all the rainwater, stormwater from the freeway and the service drives in that four mile location and store it in this tunnel. Yeah, a massive tunnel, four miles long, 18 feet wide, that will be full of water during the storms, but then could slowly be released into existing drainage networks to the Detroit River. So back out here, workers say uh, in the next couple of months they'll have that's the new grinding tool there. That's going to be fitted to the front of this machine. Then the whole kit and caboodle is going to be lowered down and the boring will continue up to 12 mile. That is the scene in Madison Heights at the Big Dig. Tim Pamplin, Local 4.